Hello and welcome to Pell Metal Diecast Review. This is Royce, and today we're going to take a look at uh, Motor Max 1958 Plymouth Fury Timeless Classics Collection. And this is 118th scale, and it's very heavy, it weighs a lot. And so let's go ahead and break it open here, and we'll take a look. Here, I'll show you the back of the box. the back of the box just ignore the dog we'll go ahead and all right we're back from unboxing this big beast um, as you can see it's uh, red with gold trim and has a white and red interior and this is made by Motor Max which is I'm not really sure if that's part of Yat Ming or what the deal is with them guys but um, it's Chinese made obviously like most of the diecast cars that are out today um, this is I found this particular car at BJ's Wholesale Club I think I paid $17.99 something like that for it recently um, so goes to show you I mean you don't have to spend $500 for a diecast car if you're you know starting a collection up and you're uh, new new to the hobby and um, you know this is fine I mean what I bought this to uh, convert to a Christine car from the horror movie so it needs quite a bit of work to convert it but I don't feel like spending the $75 or whatever people want for the uh, Christine that's out there from Auto World which looks good from what I've seen um, but I thought I could just make it myself because I mean I don't think it'd be that hard uh, a friend of mine did one and he wrapped the roof in white vinyl to keep uh, make it easier and um, the sides where you have the gold everything will need to change to silver and this one here we'll take a look at the interior it has white and red interior of the car the car from Christine is red I think it's dark red inserts on top of red vinyl seats so to do a little bit of changes there with that but no big deal it looks pretty cool for $17 I think is what I paid now there's nothing in the trunk um, nothing nothing in there it's just red plastic looks like a single speaker in the back uh, parcel tray there at the window now this one did have two chrome aerials that stuck up right here I already popped them off so just to let you know so I'll have to I'm gonna have to fill those little holes I guess somehow then let's check out the engine here the real car, um, according to the box here, you could only get a 318 as a standard. A 350 cubic inch was optional. And let's see here. They made, Dodge made 5,303 copies of the, of this car. And I don't have the weight. That doesn't say here on the box what the weight of the real car is, but I can guarantee you they weigh a lot. The length of this car is not this the model but the real car is 206 inches and wheelbase is 118 inches the motor as, as you can see here is pretty cheesy doesn't really have much going on in there it can be detailed the paint job is actually not too bad on it I mean I've seen pictures of some of the new auto arts with more with more orange peel than this so I don't think it looks too bad. Um, let's flip it over once. I'll show you underneath is not too good on it. And I'll show you why. You can see, look at them. This is split right here. Wouldn't be that hard to fix, I guess. I mean, if you're really concerned about the underneath. 
nothing really special underneath. The wheels are really wobbly. I'm not sure what's with all the play in the wheels. But not a big deal, I guess, for for an eighteen dollar car. Pretty evil looking. I mean it I couldn't imagine that chasing you down an alley. I mean this is a, an immense car, huge. The weight of this is I think it's three pounds, the dot cast. So you're talking to ship one of these to somebody, it's not gonna be cheap. But I think it looks pretty cool. So there you go. There's the uh, Motor Max, which, like I said, I don't know if that's owned by. Let's see, who's it owned by? Just as Motor Max Toy Factory out of Yangdong, China. Distributed by RBI Toys. So I'm not sure. I don't know if it's Yatming, if they're in cahoots with them or what. I'm sure they all are in some form or another. But anyway, there you go. Thanks for checking it out and um, hopefully sometime if I ever get it done I'll put a little video clip up with it converted to Christine with lightly tinted windows and uh, something like that. Should be pretty cool. Alright, stay tuned for another video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Alright, bye now.